Hi guys, this is Rampant FM, and today I'm back with another FM editor video. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to easily remove edits. Uh, first of all, we actually have to add edits because this is a sort of brand new load, if you will. So uh, you could probably just ignore what I'm going to do, but I'll, I'll show you how to remove them. First of all, what we're going to do is we're just going to go into the Scottish Premiership. Uh, all I've done here is just shift, um, and we're going to give everyone five million. But the reason I'm going to do this and show you how to do it, because sometimes if you've made hundreds of edits or maybe even thousands, it's it's easy to forget what you've done and you've done something maybe to a club or a player and you maybe want to quickly change it, but you can't quite remember what what uh, it was started on. Or So what we're going to do, uh, just to show you this can work with anything, we've gave, we've gave all the clubs 5 million balance um, and we'll just go into uh, Hamilton. We'll just see what we can change here. This is just to show you the difference. Uh, but yeah, this doesn't really mean anything to to use guys. Uh, it's basically just to get edits so I can remove them. Um, I could change the. In fact, no. I'll just I'll just remove uh, Lee Hodges on loan. So what I'll do that I'll just remove him on loan, and all you do is you go to uh, database changes. Um, here you see the number. Obviously, I've made thirteen changes. Uh, unlucky for some, um, uh, and it'll show here. Uh, the changes you've made and this will come up on any database any changes you've done at any club and you'll see Lee Hodgson at the, the bottom there So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to remove it. So first of all Hodgson you just remove it like that and We'll go up to Hamilton as well just to, to show you that works as well with uh, with a club Yeah, I think we'll, we'll, we'll go with Hamilton But yeah, you can you can pretty much take out whatever you want um, There and we'll just remove that if I was to edit again it would ask me to reload basically. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to save, um, save my changes. I haven't actually loaded this from anything, so I'm not saved. But if I was trying to edit again, say if I went back into the database and tried to do something else, the, the editor would tell me to load it. So I'm going to load it now. Uh, you have to actually load the actual database again. Uh, file. Uh, don't worry about that. You've already saved it. And we'll get that loaded and then we'll uh, we'll double check that they have been removed it should it should be fine and then it's just it's just a simple way of doing it rather than having to remember what you've done um because as i say if you've done hundreds of changes on a database sometimes it's hard to remember what exactly you've done how many things you've changed it does tell you the number of changes as well on the the side but um but yeah this is an easy way just to re to remove them so what we'll do is we'll go and we'll load that up again. I think I just saved it as test. Already had a test, funny enough. But um, right, so we'll go to competitions and name and Scottish, and you'll notice that uh, Hamilton are the only club that haven't got five million because I've removed the change. And we'll just go into Hamilton just to check that uh, Lee Hodgson is now back on loan there, and he is. So that's how you to remove changes or. That you've done on the FM editor quite easily, and if you want to remove everything, you just clear it. But I don't know why you, why would you want to do that? Because because uh, uh, you could just start a new new one if you want. Appreciate sure the support. Uh, thanks for all the likes and subscribes lately. Uh, I'll be back with more content soon.